powers that be <coughs> are already hard at work trying to make this story disappear. So I'm going to have to be careful with how I word things in this video. So try following me. But anyways, here in America over the past couple of years, there has been a huge uptick of dudes who pretend to be women carrying out violent acts, usually against real, actual women. And I know that some of you all may have a hard time understanding what a real woman is, but most sane people don't need an explanation. But anyways, we've had this huge uptick of these dudes and wigs and dresses attacking women, inserting themselves into spaces where they don't belong. Hell, a lot of the mass crazy events, you know, the pow pow events that have been happening lately, most of them have been carried out by people who are confused about their gender. Usually it's a dude pretending to be a woman, but we, we are now starting to see women who want to be men carrying out these acts as well. Now, of course, there's people doing crazy things from all different types of backgrounds with different, you know, sexual identities and whatever. There's plenty of straight people doing crazy things as well. Don't get me wrong. But when such a small portion of our society is committing such a huge portion of these violent acts, it, it, it's hard to ignore. Yet the media wants to ignore it, and more often than not, you will never hear about these stories. Some of you are probably sitting there having no idea what I'm talking about, thinking I'm over-exaggerating. But the reality is the powers that be are always hard at work making sure that these stories never reach you. So I would bet my last dollar that hundreds of people who are going to watch this video have no idea that there was just a crazy situation that unfolded at an AMC movie theater. A AMC movie theater right here in America, in Massachusetts. It turns out a guy and they did not want to release the name of the suspect. They did everything they could to cover it up. But it turns out a dude who's pretending to be a woman walked right into the AMC and started slashing up a bunch of little girls. The people who were at the movie theater said it was like something straight out of a horror movie. But the sad part is, and that's already sad enough, is that... Most of you probably didn't know this happened. There has been an active effort to make sure that this story doesn't get out there like the other stories that get out there when something like this happens. Now, if this was a regular person that wasn't pretending to be a woman, oh, you would have heard about it. If they could have linked him to a certain politician or, or something along those lines, you would have heard about it. But because it's another one of these gender-confused weirdos who actually hate women because they're not women, attacking a bunch of little girls, this story is going to be covered up. It's going to disappear quicker than you can blink. But I am here to make sure that this story doesn't just get all the way memory hold. So I want to go ahead and roll this news clip. Let's see what they have to say, because they're, refu they're not identifying the suspect yet, but I will identify him for you all right after this clip. We can show you that there's a police presence on scene, Braintree Police here, and also inside the AMC, which has now been closed because it is being considered a crime scene. Uh, the people that were in here watching movies, all of them say that uh, in their you know, different theaters, the, the movie just stopped and they were told you have to leave. Please, you know, leave out the front door. Uh, the theater is now closed. This is because apparently somebody came in and began stabbing people in 
one of the theaters. Uh, we're hearing that as many as four people were stabbed. Uh, witnesses tell us that they were all young women, um, several of them perhaps uh, under the age of 18. One maybe was a, an adult, uh, as, as in 18 or slightly over. All of them taken to South Shore Hospital. A source tells us that the most serious injury was a laceration to one of the young women's arms. It sounds like they're going to be okay, thankfully. Uh, we're also hearing that a police manhunt is underway at this hour. Uh, we know that uh, witnesses tell us that the man came running out of the theater who allegedly did this and then took off to the right um, toward hotels and other buildings that is that are just uh, down over the hill here. So uh, a very active police scene. Uh, we are hearing as many as four young women stabbed. Again, they are expected to be okay, is what sources are telling us. Uh, still trying to firm all this up with police, um, but again, a lot of good witness sound here at scene and talking to others who are helping um, treat the wounded. So we're going to leave it there, but of course we'll continue to talk to you here in Braintree. Are all expected to be okay to recover. They range in age from 9 to 17, all girls. Just out to see a movie on a holiday weekend, police say they did nothing to provoke this attack. Witnesses say the suspect blew right past the ticket counter, walked into theater number two, and without warning, started stabbing and slashing the four female friends. This AMC employee rushed in to help them. And like the two little girls are crying, like the oldest one, like they were they're trying their best like, to keep their composure and everything. Stunned moviegoers arriving for their shows watched as the young victims, ages 9 to 17, were brought out bleeding on gurneys. They were in a daze, needless to say, very traumatized and definitely wanted to have their privacy head down, but at least they were talking and were engaged with the EMT, so that was relieving to see. Other moviegoers were abruptly ushered out of what had suddenly become a crime scene. We were just in, in the theater, we were watching a movie, and the movie was three quarters um, over and the movie stopped. There, there were a lot of kids coming out in a day looking like they just saw a horror movie instead of a kid's movie, which is really exciting to see. Police launched a manhunt. The suspect described as wearing a long blonde wig. Surveillance video showed he left in a black SUV, which he later crashed down in Sandwich after he launched a similar attack at a McDonald's in Plymouth. The man finally taken into custody, facing a slew of charges at this hour. Well, it's getting to be you're afraid to go anywhere. A lot of people are witness to this shocking attack, and not just here but elsewhere, including, uh, we believe, now in Plymouth as well. Uh, we're still waiting for police to release uh, the suspect's identity, but Connecticut State Police tell us that they believe he is wanted there uh, in relation to a homicide in the town of Deep River. So, are we going to ban a knives now? Or better yet, can we start throwing some of these obviously mentally ill people in insane asylums so regular people, so regular little girls who are going to the movies can feel safe? Can we stop pretending like these people are not mentally ill, deranged, and violent? Because I'm tired of turning a blind eye towards it. I honestly am. And watching the media try to cover it up is absolutely disgusting. But the media doesn't want you to know this guy's name is Jared Raviza. He's a trans activist that goes by she, her pronouns. Everyone make sure, listen, I need you all to respect her pronouns. Never mind the fact that she allegedly killed one person and just stabbed a bunch of other women. I think it was six women all together. Um, never mind that fact. We have to respect the pronouns. You don't want to be disrespectful. I seriously cannot stand the current direction this world has taken. And watching this dude in a dress and a wig Watching these sick, disgusting videos of his, it just pisses me off. Especially considering the fact that in Connecticut, they knew that this was a... This was a suspect tied to a murder, but apparently because he was a lady boy that pretended, that pretended to be a little girl, they didn't bring him in. They didn't arrest him. They knew he was a suspect. They allowed him to skip away freely. And now what? We have a bunch of little girls who are going to be traumatized for the rest of their lives.
They'll never be able to go out in public the same way again because of what happened to them. Luckily, they lived. Then you have some other women who were attacked at a McDonald's afterwards. So this person's going on a whole little spree. And I know I'll have people in the comments, this isn't all trans people, is isn't all. Yeah, I get it, I get it. But there is a very large number of these people who are like this. And I believe there's also a large number of these people who maybe, who maybe haven't acted and done anything crazy yet, but they're on the verge of doing so. You know, we don't even know the real effects of, you know, pumping people with these hormones and all of this other stuff that's happening lately. We know it's not good. We know it affects people and throws people mentally off balance for sure. But we don't even know how bad it is yet. A lot of this stuff is new. So we're taking people with mental illnesses, we're pumping them full of medications and hormones. It's going to make them even crazier. Fucking them we're up. telling them that, oh, because society does not view you so as where they a real be trying woman, to go back to being what they was. Right? It's just and all of these dumb people as are hell. Bigots, you're making them feel like victims. And then they're lashing out violently because they're pumped with hormones. They're chemically unbalanced. They were already crazy to begin with. Nice. And now you're making them feel like they're freedom fighters fighting against oppression <laughs> because they feel like they're oppressed when they're a 40-year-old man oh, <laughs> with schizophrenia who we don't want allowed into the little girl's back. <laughs> that's the reality of the stuff that's happening right now. But, like I said, unfortunately, they're going to try to sweep this story under the rug. We need to spread awareness about this story, so share this video. Share social media posts about the situation, because we are the media now. The media used to be able to cover things up. They can no longer do that if we don't let them. But with that being said, make sure you hit that thumbs up.